There's no way it's this easy. New method to advance time in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's similar to the current trick where you advance the date of the console in raids, but this can be used anywhere, so it's better for berries as well as farming the lottery. Doing so is outrageously simple. Oh no. All you have to do is participate in a competitive online match. Regardless if you win or lose, after the fight you can change the date of the console and the game will not penalize you. So you can farm berry trees or the lottery again and again. Keep in mind that making exchange, casual combat, or exchanging league cards breaks the trick and you'll have to do another ranked combat again. Well, let's go and test this one out for ourselves. So as you can see right here, I already shook the berry tree so we can see when the berries come back. And then that's just going into the verses. I guess like this is where you have to be fast about it. And it does seem a little tedious. It does seem a little more annoying than the quick resetting that we see from the dens. So it looks like if you are doing inside of dens, it's just going to be faster. So let's go to ranked battle. I'm not going to blow my single battle rank, even though it kind of doesn't matter at this point. Because like to get top 100, you need like 700 battles at this rate. But uh, yeah, we'll just like do a throwaway double battles. And then you just run away. I want, okay, the funny thing is going to be how many draws you get from this. Because if you haven't done any battles in a rank or something, or if you don't care about your rank, you just go online and it doesn't matter. If you're a competitive player, and you have like really high standing in singles and doubles, it's going to hurt a bit more. But let's see how, how this one ends up playing out. Also, you do have to find a trainer. That takes time. So far, it's taken almost a minute to get to this point. I think it actually might be slower, so that's another reason why I wanted to test this. I wanted to test this to see if it was slower than the uh, other method, because you can run to a den, do the reset, run to a berry tree. That takes time, but this might be faster. So rank one, that's not like literally ranked one. That just means he's one rank for the tier. So we're just going up against another no-name Pokeball tier guy. I don't know. I don't know about this. Because we're it's dependent on the other people so it depends I guess if more people know about this method and they're using it to just throw ranked battles it will go faster but there's a lot of communication to deal with like, I, I feel like this is already significantly slower than other things however the question is can you do it repeatedly can you do it back to back because one thing that happened when I was first trying the glitch like I saw Philly beat you he posted a tweet I started like testing it and I was starting like a preliminary video stuff and I was able to do it multiple times and then the time randomly broke I don't know how I broke the time but I was able to just change the date and it worked I was wondering if that was because I was playing competitive battles earlier that day now that this method has come out so give up end it we did our ranked battle. Also, 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 I think it's weird, like, if someone just done a random ranked battle and then tried to skip time on a whim or something. You know? So, he was actually trying to play... Yeah, he was, like, trying to play it legitimately. Good, congratulations! Enjoy your win. I'm trying to see, like, what happens here. So, that also brings, like, another... Yeah, so we, we should just, like, quit out totally. And then go for the time change. And then we just change the time. So I wonder if the, like what this means for the actual method itself, because if someone just plays a ranked battle and skips time and then gets a benefit out of it, obviously it's not cheating. So, we're going to go into this. Mother of God. That's... I mean, it does the thing, guys. It does the thing. And the question is, can you do it again now? Because that's what I felt like I was able to do. I was able to like constantly reset after a ranked battle. Well, I didn't know it was a ranked battle at the time. I was like, why, why is the method working different for, for me? That I didn't have to go into the battle and... I didn't have to go into the raid. Wait. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! It all makes sense now. So it takes like three minutes, maybe two minutes to set up if people are aware of this method. Okay, now, so so this also explains a lot. Also, I think the, the, the reason why I broke it is because I just rolled over into the next month. And going back in time breaks your time, but going ahead in time makes it still possible. So I think I, I like tested the video so much that I went back in time. I was I was getting lazy with it and then it just stopped working. So if you just do a competitive battle, and you hop out and start changing your time before you do anything else weird. What does this mean for the lottery? 
So then it becomes much faster. Like, I don't want to fly. I wonder if, like, flying around breaks it. Or actually, yeah, we might have to test what breaks it as well. So they did kind of make that tweet. Like, where it's like, if you do a trade, if you do casual battles, exchanging lead cards, that breaks the trick. But what, does that mean if you're just playing the game, it works fine? And this would also explain the reports of people saying, like, no, I didn't have to do this crazy beacon trick. I just advanced the date and then t my time didn't break. But then other people, they're like, oh hey, I did like this slight time modification thing, and then all of the time broke in my game, I don't know how to fix it. Now, fortunately, you can fix it through the raid battles, I guess I'll just show that. Like, well, I mean, you just do the method, and then it automatically fixes no matter where it is. So, I, I feel like saving should try to break it or something. So what we got, last digit match. Oh man, that'd be sweet if we got some more PP up like that. Alright, so there's our bottle of Moo Moo Milk. Let's, like, completely back out. Because maybe if, like, you're still in the thing and it skips ahead time, that would, like, mess it up. I've gotten fa fast at this as well. Just hit that home button, pop out of there. Oh. My. God. Yesterday's stream was a waste. I I did this for hours. I I was wonder trading while I was Okay, so you can't do wonder trades or like you know the surprise trades. I was doing that so I could get a lot of different trainer IDs and then be able to farm PP up and PP max really fast. I ended up getting a rare candy, but you could do this to get master balls. And it depends on how you've been playing your game. Like if you've been making a lot of trades, like surprise trades or trades with friends. Wow. You're going to be able to get better items from the lotto. And once again, it's like now this makes it even like it wasn't cheating in any way before but now this is like even less so because this is just natural gameplay this is like not like oh I'm inside of a communication and I cancel it out even though it wasn't cheating to begin with now it's like oh if I do a ranked battle and I happen to change the time there's no penalty and if I try again I realize there's no penalty so it almost feels like when that happens man the game just does not handle the online functionality as good as it could it feels because I think that's to prevent p players from getting unfairly pe penalized. That Game Freak would rather make it to where there's like some kind of le leniency, and that way, like that way, you don't accidentally get timed out, and then you accidentally lose game function. I have no idea what's going on, but in that leniency, this is insanity. Can we get another PP up? Eat more. All right, last digit. I, I guess that's just like matching up with my Pokemon. And then that means all of the other t time things. So I imagine the guy in Stone Inside, we can also get items that way. So let's fly over there and see how this dude's daily deals end up working out. That's still insane. Let's set up today's bargain. Twisted Spoon. Sure thing. That's for like psychic moves because there's no plates in this game, except for the fairy plate. But that's because there was no like fairy item. All right. So we do all that stuff. I don't even care about like checking the next bargain. I, I feel like maybe like jumping ahead extra days could break it, but probably won't. Like as long as you're just advancing time ahead, I think you're fine. I think this guy just like holds on to the deal anyways. That's insane. And also explains a lot because I I, I got mad at Philly. I'm like, Philly, your your thing your thing doesn't work. It it broke my game time and then I figured out how to like refix it using the same method. So I was doing it wrong, and then I was able to do it right. Because if we do the right method, that's where we like go inside, and that's probably going to break it as well. Or maybe it doesn't. Just go, don't go back in time. So like this also does like a lot of weird things. Let's see if we can find some beams of light in the background. So we can see a beam of light, and then we can move the day, and then we can get another beam of light. That'd be pretty crazy. Unless... Okay, yeah, there's one way off in the distance over there. Okay. So now if we just change the time like normal. And now that we have this faster time change, that just like makes it even crazier for like challenges and stuff. So peace out, back in the game. That beam of light's still there, but now it's foggy. I don't know. Like does it does it do different thing for the dens and then this is not this is gonna be more for like the lotto? Okay, so I wasn't able to find, like, any other natural den spawns with this, so I threw in a wishing piece. I wanted to see, like, how this changes up the method. So, now we just go in that. We go down. We go date and time. 
Move the date up. Back out, back out, and it works like that. That's kind of insane. Because while I was first testing the method, I, was just, I wasn't hitting invite others, I was just going to the first screen, and then I was changing the date, and I was still getting the effect of the time skip method, and then it stopped working because I accidentally went back in time, and now it's just faster. It's even faster. Okay, that's nuts. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.